my last video and I decided, even though I let you guys decide if you liked it or not, I actually loved the second small piece. I didn't fix my camera yet. The second small piece and I'm gonna paint over the first bigger piece and I'm just gonna do a big gloom and I'm gonna add more pinks to see what happens. Let's do it. I don't even know what I'm doing. But I have to kind of work quick because it's so annoying to, sorry, I'm just trying to fix this. Um, you know, no, that's not a good thing. I wanna pour while it's still wet, okay? All right, good, you can see. Great news, okay. And I don't have any of that purple left, so I'm just gonna go tricorn black. Um, so you can see why it's just not like, it was cool as I was doing it, and to be honest, I loved the video because uh, um, I was with Mo and he was hilarious, but also I liked the bloom that I did, but this one just isn't doing it for me. So here's tricorn black. All right. Whew. And I'm just gonna like kind of do the same thing, but maybe just add even more pinks that I have um, mixed up here. You know what? And you know what else I could use? I'm just gonna stretch this out a bit, you know. So why don't I add, because I do also have the new TLP Echeveria mixed up, which is a green color. Um, so let's look at it, here it is. I have lots of greens and pinks, so isn't that pretty? Okay, so why don't we just like do a big, a big ass sparkly blue, you know, and I can add what is this? Hmm. This is an interference color. Let us see what it is. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell. Let's see. Do we know? Okay. Oops. Gold. Hold on. I'm going to put it on some black. That's sometimes the only way to tell. What is that? Uh... Hmm, it was sitting over there quietly. Oh, do you know what this is? I think this is the new TLP White Haven, which is like a beautiful white pearlescent. I don't really need it in this pour, but that's good to know that I have it because I didn't even see it there. So there's a little drop of it, if you were wondering. It's like a really sandy, it's like a little gold flex in it, but really nice. But we don't need her today. What we do need is TLP Golden Peach. I'm making it big, I don't know why, we'll see. Okay, I really liked, um, why don't I do the Echeveria? I really, in my little pour that I did in yesterday's video, when I put the Pinot Gris, which is a green interference, over the Golden Peach, it looked really cool. By the way, I get a lot of questions about what interference actually is. So, interference basically looks white in a certain light, but over a dark color, you can see, this is twinkle, you can see, I don't know if you can see in this light, but it shifts to a different color. So this is twinkle, I don't want that, I want Pinot Gris. The twinkle is a blue-violet interference. Pinot Gris is green, really pretty, okay. Then I'm gonna do, and this is a lot of pigments, and I tell people, people, uh, beginners especially, don't use only pigments. Don't listen to me what I'm doing. Although maybe I'll, should I throw in a bit of color in there? Probably, eh? So I have this, um, just to, cause you want the two paints to hold it up. That's the whole point. Cause pigments are just pigmented and they can't hold your bloom up nicely. This is Amsterdam bl light blue violet. So why don't I just put a bit, you know, so she's not so cranky. I don't know if these colors are gonna be insane. But that's okay, right? Okay, just a bit. Now, I have TLP Pinwheel, which looks pink, but has blue a blue shift, so it's kind of like a blue interference in the pink. This is gonna be, this is, these are, I know these look weird colors, but when I just did the last pour, I was like, holy cannoli, you know? Okay, um, what else do I wanna like, get a crazy pink in there? I have lots of crazy pinks. Do you know what I, uh, this is scary. Do you know what I haven't used yet? 
This is TLP. Well, I don't. I'll be crazy. This is TLP Afterglow. It's so beautiful and bright. I haven't even used it yet, but you know, you only live once, right? Okay. Just like, why don't I just do it over here, right? We don't want to go crazy. Oops. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. All right, I have sockeye. All right, why don't I do a bit of the sockeye? TLP. So this is gonna be one sparkle fest. So what's gonna happen is probably as it dries, <clears throat> my cells probably aren't gonna hold up as much, but you just gotta be okay with that. They're gonna warp, you know what I mean? <clears throat> and that's just, the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, this is Diox Purple. I put a bit of bone black in it to darken it. Oops, we don't want it to do that. We want it to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna blow it out. I have my white Shelly Art Cell Activator, which I use Australian Floatrol and uh, Titanium White. I do not measure, but about three to one. Oops, something dropped in there. Okay, I don't know. <sighs> Is this gonna turn out as amazing as I hope? I don't know, guys. Let's give it a go, shall we? I gotta blow gently because there's not many layers. Kind of cool, kind of cool, not going to lie, cool colors. Okay. Okay. I like it, basically, what's happening here, right? Is there anything I want to fix? Um, I don't mind. I'm going to leave. Normally I would kind of make leaves or whatever. I think I'm just going to leave it. I love the mar marbling effect, except for this blob right here. I love the marbling effects that, that happens when it stretches. Um, like maybe there's a bit of thick white here I might fix, you know? Um, this white might not sink, so I'm just going to, you know, give it a bit of shape in the middle, but I think it could be really pretty. The sparkle are very nice. Okay, let me start spinning carefully to see what happens. Whew, right? The colors are like fantabulous. Saying like to dye four colors, you know. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna spin her around a bit so she has a diff different spin. I don't mind the negative space and I don't mind the edges at all. I think it's really uh, pretty and floaty, and very ethereal. Yes, we're gonna call it the ethereal whoop, bloom. And the way to get that is by having those pigments kind of float out <clears throat> um, as they sink into the pillow. You know what I mean? Like these colors are really nice. Um, the sparkle is really fun. I do want it to come out a little this way. So I'm gonna angle it a little bit down. I want, mm, I want this edge to come off a little bit. Let's see if I can get her down a bit.
Yeah. <clears throat> Ethereal. Totally awesome. <laughs> okay, so again, remember, you know, this isn't gonna dry. This lacing probably as it dries will um, sink a bit. But for me, like, I don't totally care because I love the color so much. You know what I mean? Um, so, so, I don't know. I really, I think this is really pretty. I think the colors are really on point. You guys let me know what you think, like, if I'm crazy or not. But, like, I'm going to show you in the light soon. But, yeah, pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Love you. Let me know what you think. Are you glad that I poured over the previous one? I think I am, at least. Okay, bye.